Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen, a custom pen from a Canadian pen maker, Butterknife Creations. Uh, this pen is uh, named in this instance the Orion. Uh, and it is a beautiful, beautiful material. I'll go into it in more detail uh, in the close-up. This pen was loaned to me by a fellow uh, fountain pen user here in Melbourne. Uh, and uh, so very, very big thank you uh, for the loan of this pen. Uh, it's a really interesting pen. It's, uh, as I said, the material is absolutely stunning. So let's look at it in more detail. Uh, and then uh, I'll tell you a few bits and pieces. Uh, you know what I like and what I don't like. Um, it's not going to be an intense review because the, as these are custom pens, uh, each pen is going to be slightly different. So really what I want to show is the quality of the workmanship, uh, the quality of the actual writing experience, and a little bit about the material because I think it's really, really stunning. So let's look at it in more detail. So here we have the Orion fountain pen from Butterknife Creations. Now, as you can see, the material is absolutely stunning. This material is made by uh, Mackenzie Pen Works. Um, also on Instagram, uh, and it is called the diamond cast material uh, because embedded, I don't know if it'll pick up so well on the camera, but embedded you can see the little sparkles sort of coming through. That's actual diamond dust. So it's actually diamond cast, which is actually really, really incredible uh, material. So Chris over there at Butterknife Creations, which is in London, Ontario, uh, in Canada, makes these pens and he makes custom pens and he sells them on Etsy and they're really great. <clears throat> so let's talk about the pen. So this particular design, it's a completely smooth um, finish across the end and finial uh, with the cap sort of bulging ever so slightly uh, as does the barrel, uh, but you know, sort of not so much. It's a screw to cap. It doesn't really post like you can balance it on there, but I wouldn't say that post and I would certainly not want to damage the material. Um, the threads here are smooth, the step down is minimal, and the section is made of the same material. It supports a number 6 Yovo nib in this case, which is an extra fine. Um, it's got a long section, but not a thick section, uh, so it's actually quite comfortable uh, to hold, and particularly for long writing sessions. So, the pen is a, a, is a cartridge converter pen. Here it has a Schmidt converter um, and it's all sort of same piece the threads are all built into the um, the barrel and onto the section so it's all sort of very very comfortable very simple and very elegant and it's not a, it's not a heavy pen this material isn't overly heavy but it's a really good size and the material feels sturdy like there's a robustness uh, to the build of this pen which I really quite like I just think it's a really attractive really very beautiful pen Looking at the pen, you can see the quality of the workmanship. The polish here is outstanding. Uh, the quality of the, the threads is beautiful. Um, it's all very even and it's very, yeah, just beautifully made. And the design is simple and elegant, but absolutely gorgeous. Now, these aren't cheap pens. They do come in at around, uh, well, in Australian money, on Etsy, his pens sell for roughly between 190 and about 300 Australian dollars. This one, this particular pen, costs 150 Canadian. A couple of other little details about the pen before we do sort of size things. As I said, it's a screw to cap, uh, and it comes in less than one complete rotation, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, so it's just a beautiful pen, simple, elegant, really lovely. Now, in terms of the size, so, just in size comparisons here. Two pens I'm comparing it to are the Lamy Safari and the Twisby Eco. So you can see there, it's a fairly sort of standard length pen. Um, just ever so slightly longer than the other two uh, by a couple of millimetres over the uh, Safari in particular. So the pen is 144 millimetres when it is capped. It's 135 when it's uncapped. Um, it's 192 when it's posted, but as I said, I wouldn't post this pen. Uh, it's just not sturdy. Um, and also, you don't need to in terms of the balance and the size of the pen in the hand. It fits beautifully. It's easy, easy size. Uh, the section ranges from 9 to 11 millimeters. 
Um, so it's narrow, but it's not sort of too narrow to be uncomfortable, and it's got a really good length, so you never feel like your fingers are running down onto the nib. You also never feel like the threads or that little step down are under your thumb and fingers either. The pen weighs 19 grams. Now, 13 of that is in the body, and six of that is in the cap. So it's a pretty well-balanced pen, uh, and it's light enough to feel like it's easy to write with, but it's just got a little bit of size to it, just so when you're writing, that you actually know, do know that it's there. Okay, here we have a rodeo paper, um, and the uh, Butter Knife Creations Orion. So, this is a uh, Yovo Steel Extra Fine Nib. So, if you are familiar with the Yovo nibs, you know how this pen is going to write. Nothing is going to be a surprise to you. It's the standard number six, and it, of course it has the standard sort of Yovo plastic feed. Uh, so, you could replace this uh, with any other nib of your choice that fit uh, against that feed, uh, but you know, for the sake of this exercise, this is actually a really lovely, lovely nib. The ink here is Ackerman, number 13, Simplicities, Violet, um, Simple Violet, and it is a lovely ink as well. So, um, yeah. Now, in terms of uh, how the pen actually writes, let's do a quick little writing sample. Beautiful, fast. Really, there's no issue uh, keeping up uh, for this pen. It's beautiful, it's smooth, it writes lovely. What can you really ask, what more can you ask for? Um, and in terms of reverse writing, no, nah, it's not gonna happen really. It's pretty scratchy and very, very fine and quite dry. I'm not going to push this nib for flex because it's a, just a basic Yovo nib. You can get a little bit, little bit more ink down on the page, but like I've said in other reviews, it's not flex. The nibs aren't, the tines of the nib there aren't opening up to allow for um, flex, you know, for the, the tines to open for that sort of flex. Uh, it's just laying down a bit more ink. Just for the sake of the exercise, I will do a little uh, right-handed writing sample here. Butter knife creations. Not really legible, but hey. So, as to be expected, drawing the pen across the page in a right-handed fashion, still very smooth, very, you know, wet. It is a, it's a fairly sort of wet pen, really, considering that this is a, an extra fine. It does lay down a good, nice patch of ink, and while it's not sort of, you know, gushing, that's pretty good for a sort of an extra fine, in my opinion. So, really, this pen actually performs beautifully. It's got a nice, you know, basic steel Yovo nib on it. You are paying a bit for a steel nib pen, but you are getting a pen that is really unique. Like that material, like aside from the fact that that material is just so absolutely stunning, you're actually getting a pen that is, you know, sort of, it's, it's beautiful and unique. So I think that's a price that you, you know, if you're getting a steel nib, sure, you could put a gold nib on this pen for, with no worries. It'll cost you a bit more, but you could do it. Um, but for a steel nib pen with this level of, you know, um, artistic and build quality, I really don't think you can complain. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of this pen then. Well, let's start with the cons because there's really only one, and I've just covered it. The price. You are paying a lot for a steel nib pen here but you are getting a lot of pen. It is a beautiful pen and well worth the money. So let's talk about the pros. The material, absolutely stunning, unique, beautiful. As I said, Mackenzie Penworks um, created this material and it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a universal nib size, a Yovo, oh, a number six nib. So in this it's got a Yovo Extra Fine, which is, as I said, smooth and 
quite wet and very reliable. You could put any number six nib in this within reason uh, and you know get different grinds and things like that and you have a very unique pen in that respect. The weight of the pen is nice. It's not a heavy pen but it is not a light pen. 19 grams is on the lighter side but it doesn't feel that light. It feels actually because I think the size of the pen is quite quite nice you do feel like you actually got quite a lot of pen in your hand. It's robust, as I said. This material does not feel fragile. I wouldn't be throwing it around or driving over it, but it feels like it's strong. It feels like, it feels substantial. Now, the finish and the polish of this pen. This is the last, my sort of last big pro, and that is one of the big, big pros. The build quality is beautiful. The finishing of this pen is gorgeous. Like, you can see how the lights are all being picked up um, in the polish of this pen. It is just magnificent the the the, the 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 sort of the, the shaping of all the elements of the pen is just absolutely remarkable incredible craftsmanship beautifully made beautifully finished really i don't think this this pen i think it's a very very special pen and uh I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to uh, have a look at this pen and review it. So thank you to my friend here who loaned it to me and uh, you'll be getting it back as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, really, really lovely pen. So that was the Orion fountain pen uh, from Butterknife Creations. As you can t tell, I'm really very uh, enamored with this pen and I think it's really, really beautiful. In fact, I'm considering getting a pen made by uh, Chris over there Myself, I think they're beautiful pens. The craftsmanship, as I said, is absolutely stunning. Uh, so check out Butterknife Creations. They're on Instagram and all that sort of stuff. I'll link to it down below. Uh, I think the pens are sold through Etsy primarily. So yeah, have a look. Um, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button just so you stay up to date with all the videos that I produce as I produce them. Please feel free to get in touch. You can comment on any of my videos here or send me an email or you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. If there are products you think I should be looking at, such as pens like this, uh, custom pens or uh, things from your country, let me know. Or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or uh, providing uh, things for review, uh, let me know and we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you later.